With the infinite number of headphones that I reviewed on this channel, one thing that I have not done when it comes to audio devices is actually review a soundbar because one, I've never had the opportunity before. Well, that is until now. And also because I wasn't really sure how to approach going about doing that. So it took me a couple weeks to figure out, hey, how do I want to approach that? And then I got the opportunity to review the DiePlay soundbar. This thing has been really awesome because I've been able to connect this to multiple devices, my Nintendo Switch, my Steam Deck, my gaming laptop, my gaming desktop, my TV, and so much more. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the different usages I've had for this and how this can incorporate into your content creating, gaming, and just general lifestyle overall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but there's a different kind of loot to party. We are not alike. Before we kick off this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Diaplay for it's in over the diaplay soundbar this device has been really really cool i'm really excited to to dive into it and review it and showcase it for you guys because i've done a lot with this in the weeks that i've had this i've been able to just <laughs> put it through his ringer break it in and uh depending on where i'm using my station if i got my station here my main setup my secondary office setup or if i'm in the living room bedroom or just generally wherever and i want to be able to connect and hear my audio crisp and clear then this is the device i'm going to be using if you want to pick this up i'll leave a amazon affiliate link down below that way you can get it and no additional cost to you but i do get a little bit of a kickback if you do uh, purchase it off of Amazon and uh, outside of that if you enjoy the content that I put out make sure you like the video sub to the channel if you haven't already ding the notification bell that way you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that I put out on this channel if you want to support the content that we do we do have patreon as well as channel memberships links for everything is going to be down in the description below and with that being said let's go ahead and dive into the review of the DiePlay soundbar now off the bat the first thing I want to talk about is really just how cool this form factor is it's not too big it's not too bulky and it just really sits cleanly at whatever station that you want to put it at it also has brackets on the back so if you want to mount this bad boy you definitely could now it is powered through a dc input which does come with it and it's a fairly long cable and when it comes to being able to power this on and utilize it with various devices you got quite a number of options that you can utilize this with. And the key amongst them is Bluetooth. So you can Bluetooth this to any device that you have. It does utilize Bluetooth 5.1. So if you want to use it with your Switch, your Steam Deck, your gaming computer, gaming laptop, gaming desktop, including your cell phones, it just seamlessly and easily connects to it. It also comes with a remote that allows you to be able to control the volume, go up and down, play pause, and all that cool stuff as well. And also have Bluetooth, it does have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary import that you can just plug in and then you'll be able to just control your audio via whatever your device is. So if you're connecting via your phone, via your computer, your Nintendo Switch, your Steam Deck, then you can control the volume from your device straight into this. You also have an optical input on this as well. So if you want to utilize this with an audio interface, you can easily and effortlessly do that. You can also connect devices via USB as well as connect devices via TF card or micro SD card. So just like many sound bars, you can connect this via HDMI and run it straight into your device, you know, your TV, your laptop, your desktop, however you want to do that. And you'll be able to get your audio out as well. Outside of the remote control that comes to the device on the side you do have your power on and off your input switcher as well as your volume up and down now the input switcher depending on what you're utilizing you'll see a light that changes color between white blue red purple and green and it just basically lets you know what input you're going to be using via the usb auxiliary optical hdmi or the tf input so for the next portion of this review, I'm gonna let you guys hear what the soundbar sounds like by playing some royalty-free music via stream beats. So let's go ahead and uh, switch on over to that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now that I've talked about the features, I've let you guys hear what the audio sounds like and everything you could do with this, what are some downsides about this that I may generally dislike? The main one is that this thing is a fingerprint magnet. You can see how much this thing picks up on fingerprints. And I, I understand like making this type of material, you know, for like sound bars is very, very common. My only issue with it is one, this material can scratch very easily. And I just hate having fingerprints. I would have preferred it be, you know, a uh, less glossy type of material because you're going to constantly need to get like a microfiber cloth and wipe over this to get rid of the fingerprints. I will say that when it comes to the bass quality, when you turn the volume up, if it's a bit too loud, you're going to hear a lot of distortion, which can be fairly annoying overall. And I just, I don't know, like I, I think it could be a lot better than that. Um, and it just, it, it could be due to the form factor, it could be due to the drivers that they're using in this device. It's It could be any number of things, but uh, I just think the bass may not be the greatest. I mean, if you're playing, say, uh, rock music, or if you're playing jazz, or R&B, or stuff like that, it sounds good. But once you start turning that volume up, it does start to sound a little distorted. And that can be with really any device that's around this price range, so. You know, there's a give and take. But outside of that, I really do like this thing. And with all that being said, that's the review for the Diplay soundbar. I want to know what you guys think. Have you picked this up for yourself? Did you like the review? Are you enjoying it if you per are you enjoying it if you currently have it yourself? And outside of that, what are some things that you would like to see improved on the next iteration of it? Whatever your thoughts are on the matter, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section below. And if you want to pick one of these up, I will have affiliate links down below as well. And, and no additional cost to you, but it does go back into helping out the channel. And again, thank you, Mahalo to Diplay for sending over the sound bar because this thing is really cool. I really do like it. And I think for the type of setup that I have, this works perfectly for me. But uh, all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Sub to the channel if you enjoy the content that I put out regarding tutorials, reviews, reactions, impressions, and so much more. And if you want to pick up some merch, we got merch over on Teespring and TeePublic. If you want support further, we do have channel memberships as well as Patreon. We links to everything down in the description below. And with all that being said, I'm signing out. I hope you guys have a blessed and aloha rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, be easy, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well well as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around